Hello everybody, this video is going to be about developing a website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript and hosting it on Vercel. Uh, and for this particular video, I've taken uh, the theme of building a website uh, for a gym, an ordinary gym and we'll be hosting it on Vercel. So this is a single page website with sections that take you to uh, the particular section like this when you click on them from the navbar. This is me making the website available in a repository and then you need to connect your repository to your Vercel account. If you do not have an account, make sure you create one. And uh, it's completely free to create a hobby level Vercel account and you can host uh, I think up to 10 projects or less. I can't, I'm not really sure to check those things out, but you can definitely host a single website. Um, and this is the URL that Vercel has given me. So you, you should be able to access this URL from anywhere in the world on any device. And yes, we'll also take a look at how this website could be mobile responsive. Okay, so this is the prompt that we will use uh, to get the website via GPT. So what I've written here is, as you can see, write me the code for developing a gym website, which is an important keyword. Make sure you replace gym website with whatever website that you are hoping to create and uh, with the following components. So these are the components that I will need. So if you have particular components that's not here or is not required, make sure you update this list. And then I've mentioned make the website mobile responsive, which is a requirement these days that everybody has so that your website can be accessed on any any device and uh, use JavaScript where necessary to make the website feel professional. Make sure you provide the HTML, CSS and JavaScript code separately, please. Okay, so this is the prompt that I'm going ahead with. So make sure I will make sure that I provide this prompt in the description so you guys can use it. And let's uh, see what GPT provides us with. Okay, so in my attempt here, GPT has provided me with the HTML code, the CSS code, and also the JavaScript code. So I guess I was lucky in getting all three in one go, but sometimes GPT might just give you the HTML and then ask you if you want uh, to make any changes first and then take the CSS and the JavaScript. So uh, I'd suggest you take a look at how it provides you and then do the needful. Let me move to my project first. So like I mentioned, I will create three files. First will be the HTML files. So you call it index.html. And then you call, and then you create your CSS. So that will be style.css or it could also be styles based on how you name it. And then your JavaScript file will be the script.js. Okay, now let's take a look at what our HTML looks like. Copy that. Paste it. Yes. So let me first save my files. Uh, what happened to the script? Oh yes, we didn't add the script. So let's first just add all the code in. An extension that will be helpful when it comes to testing your websites is this particular extension. Make sure you get it. It's called a live server. So if you don't have it, make sure you go to your extensions tab, search for it, get it, and then you'll start seeing this option in your in this particular ribbon of Visual Studio. So now, which says go live. So go live would mean to open your website locally. Here's the style sheet. So it's called style.css, which is important. And then script. Okay, so this is called scripts. And this is script here. So we'll rename this to script. So you might, do, you might wanna check that too, to make sure that you don't face any errors. Let's go live now. There we go. Uh, we have our website and it's ready and it's looking pretty. This image, you might wonder where the image is coming from. We never added an image. The image is coming from, uh, there you go. It's pulling it from unsplash.com. So that's just FII. And let's say you want to change the name PowerFit. That's over here you can go to the HTML and it says navbar, right? So let's say we call it power up. See, changes. 
and then you have to change uh, your uh, footer too but that's just that's the only change that I will do right now just to show you guys that uh, you can do more you can also interact with GPT and ask it to change things or add I don't know animations and things like that something I also want to show you guys is how mobile responsive it is there you go it is mobile responsive and so what the JavaScript did was uh, the mobile menu toggle is what it did so if you are uh, if you are accessing the website through a mobile device it will create this change for you so now let's take a look at how we will host this particular website to host the website you will need to uh, push all of your changes that you've done or your very first commit uh, into github so make a repository and make your first commit which is what I've done right now so once you've made your code available in a repository uh, you will obviously have something like this in your github I'm not going to get into how this is done I'm going to assume you already know this if you do not know this let me know in the comments and I will guide you through or maybe upload a video for that um, once this is done you'll need to move into Vercel and your Vercel dashboard will essentially look something like this you might not have all of these projects but this is how it will look and you will definitely have this add new button so go ahead and click on add new and click on project and then you should see your latest repository here and that is because I've connected my git repository if you haven't uh, go ahead and connect it there will be a button for that over here uh, because I am already connected I can see that or you can make your repository public and use this option I'm not going to do that I'm going to go ahead and click import on this particular project and you should and you see this padlock because it's a private pr repository you click on import now once you click on import give your project a name and bear in mind that this project name will be used in the domain that uh, Vercel will provide for you and do not make changes to framework or whatnot just leave this as it is except for project name if you want that to change and click on deploy and our project is or our website is live let's go take a look at it there you go it's actually live you can click on the domains here and you should be able to access it there you go uh, refreshing it I can even access this on incognito just to show you guys there you go uh, if I was to view this on a mobile phone it looks something like this and with that this is the end of the video Hope you enjoyed and found it useful don't forget to leave a like subscribe and some feedback in the comment section and do let me know what you'd like to see in the next video bye bye for now and have a nice day